Lisa Chalodenko. Her 2010 comedy drama, The Kids Are All Right, earned. Yeah. yeah. That wonderful film earned four Oscar nominations and won a Golden Globe for Best Motion Picture. Lisa, the writer-director, graduated from SF State in 1987 with a bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies. Lisa earned an MFA from Columbia University's film school and soon made her mark on the indie film scene. Lisa wrote and directed several acclaimed short films before embarking on her debut feature, High Art, a relationship drama which won the Sundance Film Festival's Waddle Salt Screenwriting Award. That was a nice little film, too, with Ali Sheed and uh, Arada Mitchell. She has also worked on, yeah, she has also worked on television series, including HBO's Six Feet Under. <laughs> and is a member of the Board of Governors of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. It is now our great honor and pleasure to formally induct and welcome Lisa Cholodenko, Interdisciplinary Studies, San Francisco State University Alumni Hall of Fame. Okay. Where's my teleprompter? I guess there's no teleprompter. Anyway, uh, good evening, and thank you for this wonderful honor. Uh, I have to tell you that when they called me to tell me that I was being inducted into the Hall of Fame, um, I was, of course, flattered, and I was a little bit amazed, because um, I've always felt like these kinds of honors were reserved for people with a massive list of accomplishments and cures and breakthroughs and discoveries and, you know, people on the other side of their career trajectories and, um, <laughs> you know, retiring their number and kind of winding down, so to speak. So just to be clear and for the record, I, I have to tell you that um, I've only made four films and uh, know deeply that I'm still a freshman in my, um, in my field. So anyway, I'll tell you a little bit about me and my experience with San Francisco State, at San Francisco State. Um, at 18, I was, I was a kid who wanted to get away from the sweaty suburbs of Los Angeles. Um, I wanted to get away as fast, and I wanted to get away as far as possible. And I was ready to discover who I was and what I'd become, what I would become. And so I jumped at the opportunity to move up to the Bay Area and uh, start my education at San Francisco State. And my experiences at the university and, and in the city absolutely shaped me and gave me the foundation for um, all my future aspirations. To be honest, I wasn't the best student in high school. I was more of a storm and drang kind of teenager. So when I arrived at San Francisco State, um, I had kind of a change of heart, and I realized how much I really wanted to turn that around and change that. And I wanted to reach my learning potential, and I, I genuinely wanted to learn. Um, I didn't get off to a good start. I got off to kind of a bad start by getting a C in a class I was taking with Angela Davis. But with my new resolve to be a better student, I decided I was going to step up and face this uh, lousy mark head on. I decided to go to Angela's office hour and convince her to change my grade. <laughs> so anticipating this meeting gave me extreme anxiety. If any of you know Angela Davis, Angela Davis is not somebody to take casually. Not only was she a communist, intellectual, feminist, and former Black Panther, <laughs> but at the time she also smoked a pipe. For me, she was as fearsome as they get, and I absolutely and equivocally was intimidated by her. 
But all that changed when I went to her office hour. Angela D. turned out to be kind, generous, thoughtful, and deeply invested in teaching young students like me. In that one meeting, she taught me how to write a coherent term paper from beginning to end, and it's true. In 30 minutes, I learned more about writing than I had in four years of high school English in a, in a public school. <laughs> A few years later, I became Angela Davis's TA, which is kind of funny if you think about it. <laughs> Anyhow, my interest in film came soon after Angela. That's when I met uh, Tina, an eccentric girl studying film in the, in the film studies department at State. Tina loved cinema verite, film noir, the, the Nouvelle Vague. And she ran around San Francisco with her movie camera making Fellini and Godard knockoffs. <laughs> Though Tina marched to her own drummer, her passion for film was infectious, and through her I developed a love of movies and the vague notion that I could make movies myself. So I went on to get a social science degree, but somewhere in those undergraduate years I realized that I didn't have to be practical in my choice of profession. Filmmaking is not a secure uh, a secure career choice. In fact, it's a veritable crapshoot. <laughs> but at San Francisco State, I learned that passion might get me further than practical pursuits. I also learned that filmmaking and social science are kind of related, or at least that's what I told my parents when they um, <laughs> admonished me that my career choice was insane. In the end, it all worked out because after I graduated from State, I landed in the film program at Columbia University, and before I'd graduated, I'd actually made my first feature film. So there you have a brief history of how San Francisco State brought me out of the stifling suburbs into the world of eclecticism and diversity and delivered me into the world of film. Uh, there are many other people and professors that were part of my San Francisco State experience, people who taught me well and helped push me along life's path. But as I thought back, um, these were the encounters that stood out most. All this was a long time ago, but these experiences were seminal for me and they remain monuments to my, um, my emerging identity and a time when I was pliable and impressionable and very hungry to learn. So again, thank you for this beautiful honor. I'm proud to be part of the history of San Francisco State University and I'm grateful for the eclectic, transformational education it provided me. So thank you.